Hello friends, welcome back to the Polymer project. Uh, today we're going to talk about the paper dash progress. Uh, this is a very simple element. Uh, you do not need to do anything else. Okay. So uh, if you are using the Android applications, uh, you know better the sliders. Okay. Sliders. Uh, I can say we can set up the uh, configurations of a setting. Uh, for your volume up and downs, okay. That time it's a simple uh, a progress uh, where you can see the details of a current procedure. Suppose uh, if you talk about if you are downloading a bigger file, then uh, then we are getting a simple slow progress bar. You can say the simple in the desktop language. It's a progress bar. It will shows the current state of your uh, status or uh, you can say uh, your downloading file status okay uh, for that you need to use the paper dash pro progress element okay uh, by setting the value 10 it will automatically starts from the 10 okay the second property is very important that is the secondary progress okay uh, if you notice in the YouTube okay uh, the uh, first progress shows the status of your video uh, and the second progress shows the buffering level okay for that uh, you can say uh, set uh, the secondary progress is equal to 30 that when it will uh, display the little uh, blurry type or you can say the opacity of that will little down okay and we have a uh, two uh, attributes i have already told you one the secondary progress and intermediate in the intermediate means uh, it will <laughs> continuously uh, you can say the let me show you I can't explain that okay see we have a simple example okay this is the normal it will start up to five first second third fourth and fifth now it will stop after completing this one and the start button get, uh, get enabled now when I again click on the start button it will start the from the first to five stage okay okay if I talk about the in indeterminate sorry indeterminate if you see this one and the last one these are the type of indeterminate which has uh, the value to true. Okay, by default it's a value false. Okay, now I'm gonna uh, show you the example this file, the code for this file. Yeah, as usual we have a web component JS and a paper dash progress uh, file and uh, one extra file that is a paper dash button for that extra start button. Okay, otherwise there is no need for that. Okay and uh, some the colors and uh, secondary progress color if you have it to use okay for the first section i have a simple paper dash progress element nothing other than this okay it will give you a simple progress bar okay okay the second one is the button okay we will talk about later after that the paper dash button progress which is a disabled okay we do not have a value for that and uh, the third one is uh, we have a 40 value uh, the next one is there we have a 800 minimum 100 and max to max 1000 you can also set that and uh, the secondary progress we have a 80 and the current value is 40 you can say current is here and the secondary progress is here okay after that the paper progress a value to 200 and max is also 200 that means it's 100 percent complete after that coming the indent terminate right that means it will continuously uh, rounds com uh, it will continuously works okay the third one is class pink we have changed the color of our progress bar and um, with the value 80 right and uh, the end and terminate with a value 40 and 80 with a different color and with a different color with the end and terminate okay the last one 
Okay, now we're gonna talk about how we can do the programming with this. Okay, it's a very simple, guys. Okay, first of all, we have a query to our elements, paper dash progress, right? And uh, the second for the paper dash button. Okay, and I have a make a function that is the start progress. If I click on the start progress here, okay. And uh, whenever the uh, polymer is ready, I'm calling that function start progress. Okay. Now, what the start progress does? Uh, we have a repeat value zero by default. Max repeat is up to five. Okay. Then after progress, what is progress? Progress is our element, the first element. Okay. Progress dot value to progress dot minimum, and the minimum value is zero. Okay. Because we haven't specified anything. That's why it will take the minimum value to zero. After that, we're gonna disable the button, okay? And uh, animating, okay? By default, the animating is false, okay? So this condition will get true, and it will call the next progress. The next progress is here. Here, we're gonna set the animation is true. Progress value uh, is less than progress dot max, okay? And here I'm uh, adding the progress value, increasing the progress value. And uh, at the time of max repeat done, we're gonna uh, activate the button. Okay, but till then, this async progress will continuously works uh, till it doesn't come up from this function by executing the return statement. I guess it little bit little bit confusing at this point. <coughs> okay, uh, if you know about uh, the JavaScript callback function, uh, the passing a whole function to another function and it will execute uh, all the time uh, whenever you are not returning a value from that function. Otherwise, it will get a sync calling. Okay, here the same way we are doing. We are passing a whole function to. Uh, to the same function, right? Here is the async function. It's a built-in function. Okay, we are passing a function next progress. Okay, uh, this is uh, this is calling the next progress, and it will check whether the progress has the maximum value reached or not. If not, then it will increasing the value one by one by one by one by one. Okay, if the pro maximum value got it will execute the else part and in that we are checking that this is the first repeat second repeat third repeat or fifth repeat okay if it is fifth repeat or equal to then we are stopping the animation and uh, the button get disabled and we are assigning the maximum and again uh, we are setting it to the minimum value okay that's why whenever i call this function it will execute the five times it will repeat the five times two three four and at the five time it will get stop okay animating get false right guys <coughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video tutorial and uh, if you have any questions relating to the Polymer projects, uh, you can send it to my YouTube channel or uh, you can also email me at webboostings at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.